Hello all, in this video we are going to see an app that uses um, an event called editing change, okay, so on a text field. So this is an app, let's play with the, uh, this app a little bit. Um, we have to guess a word and this word has one, two, three, four, five characters five letters or five characters and there is a hint as well for the particular word and here I have a text box I'm typing something maybe Java you know so if I type the complete word Java from my keyboard here it is taking only the last entered word okay and if you don't want to type from the keyboard you can open the a keyboard option on your app by go to IO features input output go to keyboard toggle software keyboard so you would be able to get this okay so you should be able to know that but I'm using my keyboard here so a programming language I type Java so a you know so that was not there a uh, word is not letter is not there in the word that it is here so let's assume if it is a Swift okay W yes it is there so that's why my second underscore has been replaced with Swift because it knows the spelling. Yes, W I F T I. So now it has been um, done. Okay, so I'm toggling my keyboard here. And if you notice here, as soon as I'm done with the word, my check my check button has been disabled and play again button has been enabled. So I'm playing it again. I have an animal uh, that has uh, uh, with three words, D O G dog, D G. And then playing again. So the hint is two wheeler. C Y C L E. Okay, so if you noticed when I click on C, it has um, it has uh, appeared twice in this um, word. So even if I click once, if it is already there, if it is multi, if it is repeated multiple times, it would appear in the word. Okay, so I'm playing again. I have Apple device, maybe MacBook. I have book B O O K right so O repeats twice so I'm typing O and checking it so O has been repeated twice K B C okay it's a MacBook play again so all my words are done so congratulations you are done okay so this is a simple app that we have to implement it while we uh, use the event called editing changed okay so I will show you the UI for this if you notice here um, you got uh, the word HINT in the first one and you didn't get it so that was a little bug and we can fix that in the code as well um, I am going to my uh, storyboard and I will show you the UI first so this is a label so kind of a title of the app and this is a text uh, this is also a label and I have just included a simple hyphen here just just make sure that uh, uh, the label is there and I have another label called hint um, another label here is a, um, a text box it's not a label it's a text box and what you need to what you observe is whenever I'm typing something it's all uppercase right so in the properties of the text field under capitalization so just put all characters by default it would be none just put all characters and uh, yeah basically that is a one um, property that you have to be included and this is a check button you have to use uh, a regular button that we have been using and you have another button that that gives you the whether the game has been done or not and then you have another play again button if you notice here for the check button and play again button play again button is a little bit lighter color the reason is because we have hidden that this will be able to enable or unhidden only after the one word is done 
okay so for that what we have to do is under properties of the button you just scroll down a little bit for the drawing options check the hidden option here okay so that would be enough for the designing part of the ui okay so now let me go and run the app once again yeah stop and run the app if you notice here uh, let's observe the functionality of that so I have programming language hint so that means on my home screen when I whenever I open the app the hint should be uh, displayed right and also I the the hint is programming language here uh, what is the programming language Swift S W I F T which is five characters depend on the count of the word number of characters in the word uh, the underscores should be generated dynamically in that okay so that is one functionality and as soon as i click something here in my text box the check button should be enabled and then click the check box and if the letter that i typed in my text box is present in the word that has to be replaced in that position itself with the underscore that we have already written let me do with i so i is in uh, the fourth position here so check button is wi which is in third position and then it has been the third underscore has been replaced with i so that's a functionality that you have to be able to know okay similarly t and w f okay and as soon as one word is completed a play again button should be enabled and uh, uh, and then if I click play enabled as soon as I click the play enabled the new hint should appear and according to that hint the number of characters of the word should be appeared in the underscores there okay so that number of underscores should be appeared in my display label here and uh, and then as soon as I finish typing this word I should be able to get my play again button okay so like that until you finish all the words you should get play enable play again button uh, is enabled otherwise you should be able to get um, uh, your text uh, uh, congratulations that you are done okay so what we will be noticing for this is we have to design the uh, code for this okay so what we will do is so basically what you need to do is this is a display label in this display label we have to produce an outlet okay so we have to produce an outlet for this why we need to get an outlet because we have to get the text and replace the text with underscores dynamically with a number of count that's why we need an outlet here for the hint button we also need an outlet because we have to put the hint in the label there for the text box we need an outlet and an action thing okay so i will show you that in just a second outlet is to again get the text and action is something when you leave that text it should be doing something you know it should be enable your label uh, display label with number of underscores and all that stuff for the uh, check button you have to do label so you have to do the um outlet because we have to enable and disable those check buttons as soon as we finish the word um, and action uh, action button because it is doing an action because we are updating the display label with the word that we have been sorry with the letter that we have been typed in the text box okay and uh, for this uh, uh, status label we just want an outlet so that we can assign the uh, congratulations that you are done uh, with that and for play again uh, we want both the outlets as well as action okay so and I want to show what is a different thing that we have done in this app when compared to other apps for the text box so you should be able to know uh, let me open both okay so okay too much of code so what I'm doing here is I am um, dragging and uh, drop I mean selecting the control and dropping it with 
uh, it in the action okay for the text box you have an action um, and then select the UI text field and then you have to do editing changed so as soon as you're done with editing here an event should happen you know so as soon as you're done with that um, the and when you click the check button you should be able to get it is happened so that's why the only thing that we would be doing new thing in this app is editing changed so if you do that and if you observe the properties what I have done for the capitalization of this text box and then play again button that should be working okay so I'm not doing here because I have already done I'll provide the code for you in the comments of this uh, video or the description of this video section okay so now let me run the video once again and I would like you to show the um, app so initially I got the hint for the first word but from the later on words I didn't get right so that's W I T F Swift okay when I click play again I was not able to get the word hint so we will correct that now okay so how to do that is let's go to our code um, so wherever I am getting my hint label here so basically I would be doing hint here okay and then let's see whether this will work or not if not I will leave it for you to work on that yes I got the hint okay so um, I will provide you the code you just finish the functionality of that okay thank you for watching